Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a brand review of Jones Road. I don't have all their products, but I have almost a full face. We're skipping lips and eyebrows. I don't have any lip products and I don't have any brow products, but besides that it is all Jones Road Beauty and I'm very excited. I've been testing these products for a long time, months, uh, and I'm finally getting around to review them, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Grab yourself something to drink, snack, hang out with me, and let's talk Let's talk about this brand. So a little bit about Jones Road as a brand. It is created by Bobbi Brown, who we all know. She's a makeup artist. She's been in the industry for many, many years. She created Bobbi Brown Cosmetics. She sold it after many years, and honestly, since then, I don't know, for me, Bobbi Brown Cosmetics hasn't really piqued my interest, but she moved on and created her own little brand. And her whole idea is that this world doesn't necessarily need more products, it just needs better products. Uh, and you'll see that some things I agree with, some things I don't, but she is very natural with her makeup. She uses her hands a lot. So you'd expect that her products were, would resemble her way of applying makeup, which thankfully I apply makeup a lot with my fingers, my hands. And so that kind of works with me, but I can see a lot of people struggling with some of these products and some of them are just top-notch. Jones Road is considered a clean brand, whatever that means to you, and also cruelty-free. Uh, also, they are, I think, sold only online on their website. That's where I purchased all my, the, my products. I will say I was sent the balm these two like face concealers and the mascara so i just wanted to let you know and be transparent that these were sent to me but everything else i purchased myself let's start with one of their most popular product and that is the miracle balm this one is 38 dollars and comes in so many different colors the one i have right here is miami beach now this product is quite interesting but also very bizarre it is pretty much like a balm but it's a sticky balm and so it's not like the Danessa Myricks balms it, this is a wet feel balm um you get different shades and different shades do different things the one that I got right here is more as a blush uh kind of from within all of these seem to have that finish of glossiness on the skin which is actually quite beautiful um you have to first break the seal because i've seen some people trying to just rub their finger without breaking the seal and nothing comes off on their fingers so you definitely have to kind of dig in there it's quite satisfying actually um and then you can really get the product i'm actually very happy with this shade because from seeing other reviews it seems like a lot of people don't know what to do with this. And for me, this is kind of easy. It's like a blush, blush highlighter in one. And the way they describe in general, the Miracle Balm, I'm actually gonna read this. It says it's all in the name. It is a Miracle Balm is the secret of no makeup makeup, a wash of soft focus moisture to perfect and enhance skin. I think that's important because they're not selling this as a bronzer, as a highlighter, it's a moisture. To perfect and enhanced skin uh, it's also a light reflecting super product that's as versatile as it is simple to use wear miracle balm alone or layer on top of foundation for an instant refresh so the way i showed you guys applied uh, this product is first of all all my inserts are in natural light really up close and hopefully that will give you a good representation of how these uh, products look on the skin but I first put it under foundation, um, just kind of by itself. But because of the color, you'll see that this does have pigment. So it is more like a blush for me. I don't think I would put this all over my skin um, because of the color, but I do like it. Even without makeup, I kind of thought that it looked pretty, gave me a little bit of life reflection, um, a little bit of color, moisture, 
but it's not too much. And then the second way is on top of the foundation. And I just kind of tried to build up the product to see how much color we can get. And for me, for a no makeup makeup look, it worked. It worked as a blush slash highlighter. I thought it looked really pretty and it, it blended in nice. Um, it is quite wet and I would say a little sticky. Uh, and you'll see just throughout the brand, it has a couple products that are just ooh, sticky. And I don't think everybody's going to like that. These also don't set down. So I have right now the Miracle Balm here. Even though I love the finish, I love the color. I feel like it gives me just enough blush to where I feel alive. Um, I love, look at that reflection. Like you can see there's moisture and glow but it's still tacky, like it, it didn't set. And this does not set throughout the day either. So now we're coming to the negative side is just the texture is a bit much even for me and I am a glossy cream product lover. It's just what I love the most. And this for me can be just too much. Now, if I have kind of my hair sleek backed and I want that clean girl vibe, this does the job so well. I, I really like the effect on the skin. Like, look at this. There's no highlighter on my uh, cheeks right now. It's just, I don't like to wear it when I have my hair down because see, it kind of gets stuck. It's not horrible, but it's enough to where it makes me kind of think of when I want to wear this product. You can actually take a little bit of this and put it on your lips. I forgot to show you that. Uh, and it's kind of nice moisturizing. It smells kind of fresh, um, not bad at all. It smells clean. Uh, and you know, this is just such an interesting product and I think it really depends on the color that you get. I know they have a clear one, they have a bronzier one that has some um, glimmer in it. I don't see any sparkle or shimmer in this, but because of the texture and the finish, it is quite glossy. So overall, personally, I enjoy this product and I love the effect that it gives to the skin. I just have to be so careful of when I wear this and if I want to put up with, you know, kind of the stickiness um, that is on my cheeks. It's not awful, you know, it's kind of like a moisturizer that doesn't set down and most people won't like that and I understand. So this is kind of, um, you know, try at your own risk because I can see half of people liking it, half not liking it. Moving on to what the foundation. This was all over TikTok, I think last year, and it had so many different reviews. Some people absolutely despised it. It just peeled off of them. Some people loved it. And I kind of feel like it's user error when it comes to this. You really have to read how you should use it and kind of what it is. So this says it's a tinted moisture balm. It is $44. And I want to read the description uh, because this, like the Miracle Balm, you just kind of need to know what you're getting yourself into. It says here, it is a tinted moisture balm that meets traditional foundation, blends seamlessly into the skin, leaving you with an even fresh complexion that looks like your skin on its best day. It includes skin nourishing ingredients like a jojoba oil and sodium hyaluronate, works flawlessly with a face pencil, offers buildable light medium coverage. It comes in 12 shades and it is an innovative in the clean beauty space. Now from personal experience, this is a tricky little thing. At first when I got it, it almost had like a layer on top of little beads. It almost looked like it's set the oil separated and it became tiny little beads. Uh, I contacted the customer service and they were so kind they refunded me they said that that shouldn't happen um and i kind of asked about that they said that you could mix the foundation and what happens sometimes in transportation it can kind of separate because of the heat so what i've done i've kind of taken a spatula and just mixed the whole foundation 
for like 30 seconds to a minute to make sure that everything is incorporated and I kind of got rid of all those little bumps the the bumps I would be able to feel them but then once I would blend it into my fingers they would disappear um so that is just something that I experienced and I was able to fix it by blending in the foundation completely. And so I kind of understood all the negative reviews because if you do not mix that in case yours comes like that, uh, you will just have like bumps all through the foundation and it is not a pretty view and you kind of have to work to blend in those and like break those. I hope I'm making sense, but since then I have used it quite a bit. I mean, you guys can see how much of this is gone. The texture is thick. It's not as smooth as the, my Shantekai one. That one is smoother. This is thicker and I cannot see this with a brush. Like, I feel like it would just separate and go everywhere and it would make your brush dirty. Um, but I've seen some people use it and it looked good. But for me personally, fingers all the way. You need to work this foundation in. It's kind of like a balm. It, it's cream. It's thicker. However, on the skin, it's very light. It blends into nothing. Uh, and here we're going to have the same issues as with the Miracle Balm about that tackiness. Um, I showed you on camera just using my fingers and you're gonna be able to see just how glowy and almost skincare like this product is and that's kind of how I view it. I view it more as a no makeup makeup foundation. It's kind of like my skincare that gives me a little bit of coverage. It's extra moisturizing, very good for dry skin. I had no issues using it every time I had dry patches or eczema or things like that, which I've had quite a bit lately. It worked so well over those and it almost healed them and, and moisturized them. So when I took the foundation off at the end of the day, my, my dry spots looked better. Um, however, we have the same issue with this not fully drying down. So you are going to feel kind of that tackiness. It's not as bad as the balm. No, no, no. But it's still a little bit there where if you hate that, you're not going to like this. I do set this sometimes, mainly the T-zone. I always set this. Otherwise, it's just going to be too glowy. But I like it. I really do. I think it's such a beautiful finish on the skin. Uh, I'm wearing it right now and I love the way this looks. I took a tiny little clip with my iPhone in natural light just so you guys can see different lightings and different cameras and I thought my skin looked so natural and smooth. It definitely had some glow to it um, but it's really really beautiful. I actually love this product however again i don't think it's for everybody i think if you are into powders or foundations that set down this will be your enemy <laughs> but if you have really dry skin and you like using your fingers and you like those kind of skincare foundation mix this is very similar to that and i view this more like a moisturizing balm with some tint in it rather than a foundation. I also think application is so important and using those fingers really pushes the product in and it looks flawless. It doesn't look like I have any foundation on. It just looks like I'm really good moisturized with my complexion a little bit more even. Um, so for me personally, this is a huge win. Even though I had some issues and like a learning curve with it, I truly really like it. However, I do not think it's for everybody. Like I mentioned all the reasons, I think it's gonna be half of the people are gonna like it, half of the people it's gonna be like their worst nightmare. By the way, the color I have is in the color beige. I really like it. I think it works really well. Also the coverage, it is, like they said, light to light medium. Um, I can build it up to that light medium where my freckles are kind of blended in. My complexion's nice and even, but it's not gonna cover a lot. 
but I, I really like it. Moving on to the face pencil, and these are $25 each. It is 2.9 grams, and it's called like an everything stick. Uh, I have here two colors, the color eight and the color seven. Now, I love these products. They are very, very versatile, and I use them so much more than I thought I would. Um, they are a little bit on the drier side, yet very blendable. I actually love that about it. That's why I like the Cleropole concealer so much, the stick concealer, because it's not super emollient where it's not gonna stay, it's just gonna move everywhere. This stays where you put it, all day long. I love that it comes in a pencil form. You can sharpen it. I use this most of the time around my lips to kind of clean up. If I wear a red lipstick and I need sharper edges, I reach for this. Or if I have just like little spots throughout the face that I just need blended in, I go for this. These are incredible. I don't know how they made the formula be on the drier side and long lasting yet very blendable and non drying on the skin. Even when I used these over drier spots or eczema, they, they worked. Now I will say I had a moisturizer under and maybe that helped, but I think these are so good. I really also like them under the eyes. They work really well, blend in seamlessly. I use the peachier one, which is shade eight for under the eyes. And then I use the shade seven kind of all over the skin. They are easy, fast, blendable, great, great pigment, very versatile. You can use them however you want. I tend to use them as a concealer. However, you can get a deeper shade and use it as a contour. That would be so beautiful. You can use this as your foundation just all over the skin and it is beautiful. I don't think anybody's gonna dislike these and they're very practical in day to day. Clean up your makeup, clean up your eyeliner, just everything. I'm just gonna show you with the shade seven, kind of what I do around the lips. I, I add it there and you can see it's already so much sharper. And then I take a brush and just blend this in, into like my foundation. And I feel like that makes such a big difference. Mainly when you're wearing a red, oh, it cleans up, it cleans up your lip line so well and it's sharp. That's probably my favorite way to use these and to clean up around the eyes. You could also go right here and sharpen that line. Like, I think these are so good and I like that they're very long lasting. You could put them in your waterline. I've done that before if I needed to brighten that up. I just think they're so practical, easy, lifting, long lasting. One of their best products, very easy to blend in. A lot of people can use them. If you have dry, oily skin, I think this is very practical. And you know, I don't hear a lot of people talk about these. And I think it's, again, like I mentioned, probably my favorite product from them. Moving on to a newer product to me, which I still had it for probably like a month and a half, but this is the Jones Road Gel Bronzer. I have mine in the shade Light Clear. This comes in three colors. It is $34 and it says it's just like a light, natural, suntan look with barely their feel. It's a gel bronzer that comes in three shades, pretty basic. But this is a great product. If you are into more natural bronzer, very skin-like, 
amazing. I was actually expecting this to be quite sticky just because of my experience with the Miracle Balm and with the foundation. I was like, ooh, I bet this is going to be nice and sticky. It is not. This is not that balm consistency, but that gel. And it's really nice, light, very blendable. And it's kind of that perfect bronzer, no makeup makeup. Again, I feel like the whole theme of Jones Road is very just natural makeup, easy to use. And you can blend this with your fingers or I use a brush usually. It's just a little easier for me. I feel like it's a little bit more controlled. I am using the BK Beauty 106 and it's the perfect shape and the perfect dense to work with the bronzer but this is one that is really 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 good I love the texture it does dry down it doesn't feel sticky at all it's easy to blend in and you can't overdo it I actually am debating purchasing the medium shade this is light it does show up on me but it's it's pretty light you know it's just kind of a suntan exactly like they describe it doesn't look like an intense bronzer which is probably why i like it so much because for day to day my makeup is very minimal i almost never wear mascara i just slap some skin tint on a little bit of this gel bronzer and maybe a little bit of blush but that's optional um, but this makes my life so much easier i love the consistency i like the finish that's more natural not super glowy it sets down and it's just a fabulous product i want blushes in this texture because i think this is a gem and i do think even if you have oilier skin you would like it um, dry skin it's wonderful just don't expect for this to have super intense pigment it's definitely on the lighter side but still very very beautiful and perfect for a day today moving on to their powder and this surprised me so much i didn't hear anybody talking about this i didn't even know they had a powder until i needed to add a few more items to reach free shipping and then i saw that they have a powder and i was like oh wow okay let's try that so this is called the tinted face powder although they have a translucent one uh, it is $28 and it comes in many shades the shade I picked is the pink one guys look how pink this is <laughs> I mean if there ever was a pink powder this is it right here when I got this I was so taken back I was like this looks literally like a blush <laughs> and so I was quite scared to use it and I will say I'm still a little scared to use it. Even though I love the formula, it's mattifying, but it's very fine. The powder is really nice. I actually would love to purchase just the untinted one because I love the formula. But I just wanted to try a pink powder that's, you know, pink because that's all the rave lately and i do have one of my favorite pink powders it is from by terry and this is in rosy light and i'm just going to show you the difference between them this is the by terry and this is the jones road one it, we can agree that this is like blush pink so i was definitely scared to try this however I tried it multiple times and I kind of like the effect for a certain look. Uh, when I was a little bit more tan, I actually felt like I looked a little bit like a clown. It didn't work super well, but now that I'm not tan at all, I kind of like it. It definitely brightens up your under eye and it gives that... 2023 a makeup vibe where it's like the blush is a little bit brought in and I actually really like this to blend in my original powder with the blush. Today I showed you just setting my concealer slash face pencils um, and it actually worked really well. Walking around the house I didn't feel like my under eye were extra pink but i had to be careful if you add too much you can definitely see it way too much um so this is a tricky little thing but i'll show you right now i'm going to take a little bit 
and I'm just gonna blend in the blush with the powder right here which it is this powder but like look how pretty that is so to me it's kind of like a, a blush blender <laughs> because it's so pink it could be a little bit intimidating but I really really like the way it connects the powder the under eye to the blush I think it is quite modern and unique it's it's something that I don't own the powder like I mentioned is very fine undetectable soft yet blendable very blurring so I do like the actual powder it's just the color I like it it's unique but for under eyes this is not for me this is more for the cheek area even the nose i kind of like putting it on the nose it's a powder that i don't own anything like this so i'm glad i have it but if you're interested in just you know under eye basic setting powder don't get this color four more products left let's move on to the bronzer this is their powder bronzer and i have mine here in the shade light tan this product is 35 dollars. i think it comes in seven shades and this one is described as light warm bronze this is a fabulous powder bronzer it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Makeup by Mario one where it's just a basic good bronzer. Um, and it's very similar to me. I think this has a little bit less pigment so you have to build up the color more and more. But I just really, really like it. It is soft but it gives a little bit of a bronze and you can build up the product, which is what I love most about bronzers. I hate when I put a bronzer that's so pigmented and I just regret <laughs> putting it on and then I have to kind of work with it, add some more foundation to blend it in. This will not do you dirty. You know, this will blend slowly, build it up. It's not too powdery, so you don't have a lot of kickback. It's pressed nice and firm, yet I don't have an issue with hard panning at all. This is an amazing bronzer. I like putting it in like my crease. Uh, it is just fabulous. I have nothing negative to say about this. I know the lighter color looks almost rosy, uh, but for a really fair skin tone, I can kind of see that working. But this light tan is a beautiful color. It's not too warm, not too cool tone. It's perfect. I adore this one. And this again is a product that would work for anybody moving on to the eyes i have three products for the eyes and we're gonna start with the eyeshadows these are called the best eyeshadow how humble these are 25 dollars each but it's it's a big pan and they all come in this beautiful packaging you get a mirror which is actually quite decent for how small this is and i love the packaging it's nice sleek i actually really like all the jones road packaging it feels chic but especially the eyeshadows and the two colors i got is patina and so pretty first i'm applying patina and this is kind of a deeper taupey color and it has a reflect to it it is a stunning color i actually think that this is my favorite out of the two you can build it up or sheer it out it is so easy to use these eyeshadow formula they're powder but they're so soft and blendable it has a beautiful shimmer to it very elegant and wearable and i'll show you here just spread out on my hand look at that glow it's somehow intense yet elegant this is a beautiful color on the eye i kind of showed you built up and in that light you can kind of see a little bit of that shift tiny bit green but you know right now looking at this it looks just like a beautiful taupey color i love this color i actually like this color 
like a wash of this color rather than it fully packed. I probably should have shown you that, but I forgot. Um, but yes, this is a beautiful color. If I want to intensify, I use my finger. If I want a wash of this, I will take a brush and just use it all over the lid, but don't be fooled with the pigment. These are very pigmented, both of these. The color is so pretty. Uh, it is a beautiful silvery white and it almost has a blue shift in it. I actually have an issue with this because I apply a little bit or so I think and it is like bam in your face. So I've kind of learned to take off a little bit and then go and tap in the center. Right now I have it fully you know intense pigment just so you can see it but here on my hand you can see that it is softer and you can really spread this out and have just a wash of it or just in the center. I find these shadows to be so easy, so blendable, absolutely incredible. And I think it's kind of funny that the best eyeshadow is their name because these are one of the best eyeshadows that I have in my collection. They can be worn intense, soft. They work well with a brush, with your finger. They blend themselves. Like I barely ever have to blend them. I just use a little bit of my finger and that's it. Beautiful colors. I want to try the matte ones. I have not tried them, but I heard that they are so, so good. This is another huge hit. I love the packaging. They're quite pricey, you know? It's just one eyeshadow that you're paying for, but as you can see, that's all I need on my lids and I have right now so pretty all over and it is so intense, um, but fabulous formula, great color selection. I like them. Moving on to the best pencil. This is $22. It comes in two, four, six, six colors. Mine is a boring brown. <laughs> However, this, is a, one of my favorite browns that I have in my collection. It's beating my Victoria Beckham, and there's a reason for that. I'll swatch it right here. It's a nice deep brown that's not too black, too cool, too warm, because I absolutely despise that in a neutral brown, right? There's a time and place for a warm brown, but if you're selling me just a nice brown, I want it neutral, I want it to, you know, look like a brown when I blend it out. And that's exactly what this does. I love this one, I think a little bit better than the brown from Victoria Beckham, which has been my holy grail, because this is a little bit drier, yet very blendable. I love pencils that are like this, that need to be sharpened. There's something about the formula, about the application, about me sharpening it, that it's just better. They're usually a little bit drier rather than that gel liner. This is a true pencil and it's perfection. The way I use this is just to line my eyes. Sometimes I'll use it in my waterline. It works great, but I just love how easy this is to blend out and you can build up the color. You can sheer it out. I actually used this once all over my top lid and just smudged it out and that gave such a cool look um, and it's great very reliable it is one of the better pencils that I have in my collection I also like that it has the white cap and I can use it as a lip line as well I actually really like it almost like a contour for my lips and with a gloss on top of that it's really really beautiful so 10 out of 10 for the eyeliner. And I saw that they just came out with lip liners. I want them, but I don't want to pay for shipping. <laughs> That's the one thing uh, with Jones Road. If I want to pick a one lip liner on one eyeshadow, I have to pay for shipping, which is, I don't even know what it is, six, eight dollars, I don't know. But it's just like, it puts me off. I don't want to do that. But I usually try to reach that $85 free shipping cost. And last product is their mascara. This is $26. And this mascara surprised me so much. First of all, the wand is so much thicker and bigger than I expected. 
it has a curve to it, nice chunky bottom, <laughs> let's just say that, um, which is actually quite practical when you apply. It also helps like curl your lashes. And when I first bought it, it was more on the wet side mascara. It added a lot to my lashes. It was so intense, yet I had an issue with it being too wet. I tend to like more dry mascara. Usually when I buy a mascara, I need to wait like three, four weeks before I really enjoy that mascara. And that's what happened with this one. Even though I liked it in the beginning, it was a little difficult to work with it because it was so wet. Um, so that was an issue I had and I kind of was hesitant using it. But now that it's been, I don't know, two months since I had it, I am in love. I'm actually so surprised that they came out with such an intense mascara because of the brand. I was expecting them to have more of a merit mascara vibe that's just more natural and just feathery, but this packs a punch. I actually have to be careful at how much I apply of this because it's so intense. And now that this is more dry, it's even better. It's easier to work with. It curls, it uh, gives length, it gives volume. It is such a good mascara. I do not use this on my lower lashes. I actually have my Hourglass Unlocked, I think, mascara. It's the tubing one. It's just, I don't wear anything else on my lower lashes because they smudge. But this on the top lashes, I haven't had it smudge. It does dry, but this is never, your lashes are never hard. They're still soft, but I don't know, it keeps a curl. It's just a very interesting mascara. And I was not expecting that from Jones Road. The mascara is great. You just kind of have to let it dry out because it was just too wet in the beginning. And those are all the Jones Road products that I have, I've been testing, and my thoughts on them. I feel like this has been a lot of information, and I would love to hear your thoughts on this brand. I know there's a lot of people that love it, a lot of people that are just kind of scared of the brand, but if you're more into natural products or like basic products, like the eyeliner is just a good basic. The shadows are good basic. The bronzer, kind of the same thing. They're just good products. The iffy ones are the Miracle Balm. You kind of need to know what you're getting yourself into. The foundation is not for everybody. I actually find that a little finicky, even though I really enjoy it. Um, and that's about it. The rest are great. Oh, and the pink powder. I think this is more just the color rather than the uh, formula. The formula is great. Um, but the pencils, these little pencils are incredible. So good. And everybody needs these in their, their collection to touch up. Even if you just go out, right? And you need to touch up your foundation a little bit or something smudged. A little bit of this, pat, pat, pat. Amazing. It goes under foundation, over foundation, over powder. It works so well. It doesn't bunch up because of the texture. Um, so yeah, those are all my thoughts. I would love to hear your thoughts down below and I really hope this video was helpful. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.